Zip Zap Zoom! I got this! Back at ya! Yep. Bed. Got it! Oops! <laughs> Sorry, really? Bartleby. Oh. Thanks, little helper! I got it! Oh. Oh. Oops! Oh! And that's a ball off my head. Hi, Rainbow oh! King! You have a race car! No way! Say hello to my Rainbow Racer! Hi, Rainbow, Rainbow racer. racer! Why do you have a pumpkin racer? Once upon a moonbeam, my Rainbow Guard and I were a racing team. I still like to take it out for a spin to feel the wind in my cape. Uh, isn't that right, Rainbow Guard? Mm-hmm. And what fun it was doing a few laps around the kingdom. Hmm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Bee? That it's time for Fishy Poof Crackers and a cuddly lap nap? You can nap later. First, let's build our own racer. Oh, I like that idea even better. <laughs> let's go! Bye-bye! I can't wait to see what they build. We're gonna build, build, build our own speedy machine. It'll be cool, 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 watching glimmer and glee. We'll feel the breeze, breeze, breeze blowing through our hair. Having fun, fun, fun without a single care. Driving, driving, we're all high-fiving and loud as thunder. It's no wonder it's full speed fun when we're with each other. Silver sparks. It's beautiful. You really like it? Oh, yes. Your car is so amazing. I'm announcing the Rainbow Kingdom's first Great Rainbow Rally. Yay! Oh, right. Yay! This is going to be fun. <laughs> Welcome to the Great Rainbow Rally. <laughs> Let's raise a rainbow cheer for today's racers. Racer number four, the Yetis. Racer number two, a rainbow city bus. I'm a bus. Racer number five, my rainbow guard. Racer number three, the forest flower kids. Racer number one, True and Bartleby. Racer number six, Princess Griselda. Yeah. Oh, hi, Griselda. Your car is so, well, Griselda-like. Thanks, True. My Grismobile is the finest luxury automobile around. It's built to be first because there's no race without a winner. Well, I think the real winner is the one who has the most fun. It sure is, huh, Fuzzy Mice? Ooh, Fuzzy Mice, so fuzzy and fuzzy. Good luck, everybody. Mm -hmm. Happy mm -hmm. racing. Oh, thanks, True. Racers, starting here, you will zip, zap, zoom all across the kingdom, following these special green arrow signs. First car to zip, zap, zoom back here wins! <laughs> so buckle up, Rainbow Racers! Get ready to roll! It's Great Rainbow Rally Time! Go, go, go!
supposed to be racing. Well, welcome to the race. Been there. Done that. Been there. Done that. Hey, that's new. No, no, that's not new. Hold on a second, Bartleby. Rainbow King said we're supposed to follow the green arrow signs. These ones are red. <laughs> Watch, getting... Where did we last see a green arrow? That away. More of the green arrow signs point that way. So that way must be the right way. Hi, little helper. Could you spin that green arrow to point the right way for us? Thanks. Great rainbow racers. Follow us back to the race course. Uh -huh. <laughs> Interesting. A few crystals broke off. If someone dries over them, they could pop a tire or wipe out. Well, there's always something in the road to look out for. Let's go, Fruki. Oh, watch it! Racing, racing, everybody chasing! Okay, let's never do that again. Is everyone all right? Hi! You betcha! Hey, this isn't my stop. Well, it isn't mine either. No complaining on the bus. <gasps> and I've got a flat tire! True! What do we do? What do we do? Don't worry, everyone. True knows! You do, right? Because I don't. I really, really do. I really, really do. We're gonna fix it. those jumps, please. Hey, can we get back in this race, please? There. Good as new. Thanks, Drew. Happy to help. Now let's get back to the race. Was, um, that the only road out? Mm -hmm. Then we're trapped! Trapped! I've seen how this movie ends. Huh, I was gonna be the one who panics there, but she is nailing it. Do we need a wish now? Well, fixing a tire is one thing, but moving a giant heavy boulder? <laughs> yeah, we definitely need some wish help. Cumulo! <laughs> We'll be right back! To the wishing tree, please! Faster, you mule! Faster! You're just in time for the race. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> <laughs> so, how goes your race? Wait, if you're here, 
And you're not racing. That means... We have a big problem, Z. A bunch of racers are stuck at the bottom of a canyon. And the only path leading out is blocked. By a boulder that went... Whomp! Thunderbolts and lightning. Let's have a think about this. Oh, hold on. <laughs> we have a winner! <laughs> Come, let's sit and have a think about this. How do you think you can fix this problem? I need a wish that can help us get past the boulder so we can drive back up to the race course. <laughs> yeah, my fuzzy mice get antsy when we're not racing. <laughs> How big is this boulder? It's huge! So we're gonna need a wish to help us get it out of the way. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. Wishing tree. What interesting wishes these are. <laughs> Let's see what the Wishopedia tells us about their powers. Wish number one is Sizer. Uh -huh. It's a wish that can make anything bigger or smaller. <laughs> you could help us get around the boulder by shrinking it down for us. Uh -huh. What a good second wish. Roper Roo. You can use this wish to lasso things and move them. That's great. If one of the cars goes in a ditch, we can pull it out with Roper Roo. Yeah, yeah. And your last wish is Cubigly. <laughs> it wiggles, it wobbles, and it's very springy. Hmm. I'm not sure how this wish will help me get the racers going again. <laughs> but I'll think of some way to use it. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. Ready to go, Bartleby? Almost. What? I really like fuzzy mice. <laughs> Thanks, Z. Good luck. Happy racing. True. Did you think of a way to get us out of here? Did you? Did you? Don't worry, I did. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Sizer! Wish come true! See that giant boulder blocking the way? We have to make it smaller. Too many to shrink down. I know. Sizer, shrink us down, please. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can't say I was expecting that. Come on, everybody. Let's drive. <laughs> I 
stop. No eating or drinking on the bus. Thanks, Sizer. I don't think this race can get any more fun. Are you sure? I was thinking you might want to turn driving. <gasps> You're the best, Drew! <laughs> I am. I really am. Now buckle up. So the pedal on the left is the gas, and the handle by one... Yeah! Hey, it's the forest flower kids. Hello. Bye-bye. I'm way ahead of the other racers, and that's good. But they're getting closer, and that is bad. I need more speed to stay in the lead. Activate the Grismo Turbo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes! Now this is fun! Yeah. <laughs> We're all here. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Except for the bus. Oh? oh, don't worry about me, True. Just stuck in a cactus. Ah, I'm stuck in a cactus. Get me down. Get me down. Yetis, you're big and strong. Can you get the bus down? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I'm gonna whoopsie. If Yetis can't get her down. What can? A super strong rope wish. rope let's get pulling. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, rope -roo. Wish come true! We need to make a lasso so you can help get the bus down. Can you do it? yoo Is this gonna take all day? Uh, you can do it, Roperu. I know you can. No! Uh -huh. oh, I'm feeling that squeeze. Careful. Uh, uh, there uh, you go! Ready to roll! Great job, Roperu! Yes! A big thank you from me. And me! Hands on the bus! Time to go back in the pack. <laughs> All right, everyone. We have a race to finish! Faster, Grismos! Fast, fast, faster! <laughs> Help us. I can have Q Bigly cover Griselda's car and roll it away from the cliff. What if it falls? Well, it'll be surrounded by jelly and have a nice cushy landing. <laughs> Are you sure this will work, True? Because I'm very delicate. Yeah, delicate. Like a Yeti's toenail delicate. Q Bigly, we need a lot of jiggle. Do I choose you? Oh. Wake up, too Bigly! <laughs> Wish come true! <laughs> okay, Q Bigly, I need you to jiggle Griselda to safety. Ready? Here we go! <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah! 
to win. See you at the finish line. Come on, everyone. Back in the race. There's a car in front of us. And the first racer across the finish line is... Still not my star. Just get out. Can you believe I didn't win? Did you at least have fun? Yes, I guess I did. So winning isn't everything. Huh, who knew? Congratulations to all our races. We had a blast, Rainbow King. Splendid! Now to celebrate with some royal nibbles and sips. Nibbles and sips? Mm -hmm. Everybody wins with those. <laughs> 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 Actually, they said... <laughs> Which means Splashy Splashy Springs is great family fun for all ages. Well, normally I avoid squishy, splashy things, but that does sound amazing. <laughs> We're right behind you! <gasps> There's Mount Huff and Puff! Splashy Splashy Springs is supposed to be right next to it! Well, with that giant tree in the way, we're not going to do any splishing or splashing in Splishy Splashy Springs. You're right. How are we going to move this thing? Sometimes you gotta dip your toes in and test the water. Literally. <gasps> ah! Cold, 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 cold! <laughs> I think your toe's extra sensitive today. Trust me, you do not want to go in there. Yeah, okay, deliver. Erg, you're a big furry yeti. It can't be that cold. <laughs> Again, it's freezing. <laughs> Maybe we'll just stick to the geysers today. Oh, <laughs> 
I mean, that's silly. I mean, what does a mad mountain even look like? You go with the Yetis and make sure Grok's okay. You can count on me, True. I'm going to go see what's bothering Mount Huffinpuff. Grok! Grok, are you okay? Oh, yeah, don't go that way Okay, stay right here. Uncle Bartleby's gonna get you down. Hi! Yeah! 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 Mm. Oh, please go ahead. I, I think I loosened it there for you a bit. <laughs> Um, hi, Mount Huffinpuff. My name's True. <laughs> we couldn't help but notice that you seem a little upset. Is everything okay? I don't think the mountain likes it when we do that. <laughs> is hot lava, I think. This is not good. It's heading straight for the never-ending forest and all the creatures that live there. Yeah, I can confirm that this is definitely lava, which means we definitely have to hurry this up. Yo! Yo! Now, everybody! I better go warn everyone. Cue me! I'm sorry you're not feeling well, Mount Huff and Puff, but I need to make sure my friends are okay. I'll be back soon with some help. Faster, faster! Try to keep up, please. Thank you. Ah! Whoa! We're being chased by lava! I'm going to go on ahead and find a place where you'll be safe. Okay! We'll just keep running! <gasps> a cave! That's perfect! Erg, Snick, turn left! Quick! Phew! Okay, I think we're safe. You may be safe from the lava, but you're also a little bit stuck. I'm really sorry. I can't carry you all to safety with Cumulo. I'm going to need some wish help. Uh-huh. Wish help would be good, I think. Sit tight, everyone. To the wishing tree, please. Don't worry about us, True. Uncle Bartleby will keep these yetis entertained. Have no fear, my furry friends. Burning hot lava may be boiling hot to the touch, but it's perfect if you're in the market for a tasty treat. Yeah! <laughs> oh. Okay, the first one always gets burned. Okay, so maybe we have to wait for this lava to cool down a little bit. In the meantime, we can, uh, let's see, uh, well, what do we have here? We have rocks. Some more rocks over there, and, uh, boy, <laughs> a lot of rocks in this cave. Uh, I don't know, um, want to do a fun craft? <laughs> That's the spirit! Z, Z, Mount Huff and Puff is erupting. Oh, hi, True. And I know I've been watching on my face bubble. Tell me what happened. Bartleby and I were there when it all started. Hey, wait a sec. Where is Bartleby? Trapped with the Yetis, surrounded by lava. They're actually on Mount Huff and Puff. Why? The Yetis took us to Splishy Splashy Springs, and then the ground started shaking. First, I thought we made the mountain mad. But then I thought it looked sad. Now I'm not sure. But Bartleby and the Yetis are trapped by hot lava. And even worse, the lava's flowing down the mountain toward the never-ending forest and Yeti Village and all the critters that live in the forest! Blistering basalt! 
This is serious. Let's sit and have a think. <sighs> okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, the first thing to do is rescue Bartleby and the Yetis from the lava. Good thinking! Then, when everyone is safe, we have to stop the lava from reaching the forest. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> wishing tree. Wishes. Now let's see what the Wishipedia says about their powers. First up is Thermo. Thermo. Thermo can handle any temperature, hot or cold, and not feel a thing. Thermo is very protective. You're just the wish I need to get across the hot lava. Thermo. Next up is Diggy Dug. Diggy Dug loves getting dirty. It can also move tons of dirt in no time. Perfect. Diggy Dug, you can dig a big hole to hold all the hot lava. Diggy Dug. Diggy Dug. And your third wish is Elongi. Hi, Elongi. Elongi. Elongi is a stretching wish. It can stretch super long, like a rubber band. Elongi. I'm not sure how you can help with Mount Huff and Puff, but it's hardly a stretch to see you're always helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack. Wow. Thanks for everything, Z. Anytime, True. Good luck. Okay, and just a little rock here and there. Nailed it. Looks just like the Rainbow King. <laughs> Sometimes I impress even myself. <sighs> All right, my Yeti friends, let's see what you came up with. Oh, come now, don't be shy. This is your first rock sculpture after all. And remember, Uncle Bartleby is a bit of a pro. <laughs> Well, uh, not too bad for a first try, a little crude, but hey, we can't all be master stoneworkers. <laughs> With a little help from Uncle Bartleby, you three have a lot of potential. Bartleby! I'm back to get everybody off the mountain! True! Oh, too bad we can't finish our rock sculptures. So disappointing. Oh, well. Okay, everybody, True's here, so uh, let's form a line, single file along that wall. Thank you. I'll have you guys out of there soon. Time for my first wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Thermo! Wish come true! Hi, Thermo. Thermo! That lava is really, really hot. Can you handle the heat? Ha! Mom, mom, mom. Thermo!
well. Thanks for saving my friends in such a fun way. Now back in the pack. Okay, now let's see about stopping that lava. You'll need to think quick, True. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got this. Time for my second wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Diggy Dug! Wish come true! Hi, Diggy Dug! There's a big river of lava headed straight for us. Never, never. Can you dig a hole big enough to hold it all? No, no. Never. Never. Yay! Uh, okay, Diggy Dug, let's get digging. <laughs> Not true! The lava's getting really close! Almost done! Great job, Diggy Dug! Let's get out of here. <laughs> you saved the forest! Thanks for everything, Diggy Dug. Now tuck yourself in. It's not really a mad face. This is a mad face. Grrr! <laughs> no! <gasps> That's it! That's the mountain's face! The one you make when someone steps on your tail! So, somebody stepped on the mountain's tail? I mean, the mountain's face looks like it's hurt. Like when something pokes you. Hmm, when something pokes you, pokes you. Hmm. <gasps> I think I know why the mountain is so upset. Follow me. Is everyone safe here? Oh! Okay, be right back. It's just up here. We found Grok sitting on top of that log. Wow, it looks really jammed in that geyser. No wonder the mountain is having a tantrum. That looks really uncomfortable. I bet Mount Huff and Puff would feel a hundred times better if we took it out. But Snick couldn't even pull it out, even after I loosened it for her. I'm sure we'll think of something. Yeah, well, it's hard to, to, to think of anything with all this rumbling going on. Phew. You're right, Bartleby. Let's go try and get Mount Huff and Puff to calm down. Cumulo! seems strong enough to pull a tree out of a geyser. I think you're right, so let's have a think. Okay, Mount Huff and Puff is trying to blow the log out of its side. But every time it tries, it just blows out its top instead. Maybe Elongi could cover the top so that when Mount Huff and Puff blows, the log gets pushed out instead. That's it! Mount Huff and Puff, we have a plan. It's going to be a little uncomfortable for a minute, but then it'll feel better. You're going to have to be brave and trust me, okay? <laughs> Great! It's time for my third wish. Zip, zap, 
Kazoo, I choose you! Wake up, Elongi! Wish come true! Hi, Elongi. Here's the plan. You're going to stretch all the way across the top of Mount Huff and Puff and hold on tight. Can you do it? You're the best, Elongi. Take us a little closer, please, Cunulo. would agree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for bringing us here, Ergen Snick. This turned out to be a pretty fun outing after all. Yeah, although it's too bad the water was so cold in Splissy Splashy Springs. I was really looking forward to taking a dip. Whoa! water I can handle. I think this is Mount Huffinpuff's way of saying thank you. Thank you, Mount Huffinpuff! Yeah, you really saved the day! <sighs> wow, wow. watching the sky, don't you think? The Lantern Festival hasn't even started yet. It won't be long now, though. Ooh, I can't wait to see our glow lanterns fill the sky with light. With light. Ah, well, you're about to see something else fly by that's just as amazing. Look. <laughs> sky globs? Wow, I've never seen them up close before. They only fly past here once a year when they migrate. Migrate? When it gets too warm, they head home to the chilly north. Woy, woo, woo! Ooh, I want to talk to them too! Woo! Woo, 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 woo! <laughs> I think they heard us! Yeah, chatting's not my thing. I'm more the strong, silent type who always keeps us cool, you know? <laughs> Big Sam Blubs! Biggie Blubs! Sky Biggies! This, this thing! <laughs> <laughs> they even have a cute blubby baby. Oh, hi, baby. With your big blubby baby mouth, a whole kitty could fit in there. <laughs> I don't see any wings. They must fly with their tails. 
Yes, they're very graceful flyers. It's landing that they're not so great at. Ninja cat hide. Ninja cat hide. Can't see. Not not wanting to be seen. Shivering with fear. Aren't they wonderful, Bartleby? Bartleby? Where'd you go? Right here, too. We should really be going. To that non-Sky Blob Festival thingy, remember? That we were gonna go to? The Lantern Festival. I almost forgot. Okay, let's go. Wanna come with us, Z? Thanks, Drew. I'm good. I can see the Sky Blobs and the Lantern Festival from right here. It's the best view in the kingdom. Okay, Z, have fun. Gotta go. Bye! And you blobs have a safe migration north. Thanks, Kenya! Let's get this party started! So we let these babies go and the music ends, right? Yeah! Okay, time to move with the groove. This cat ain't got hooves. Kitty can dance. <gasps> B, look! <laughs> what? Something's wrong with the sky gloves. <laughs> Ninja cat hide. Hey, I have a great idea. Let's watch the festival from under here. In case you know, it rains. <laughs> no, Bartleby. True. The sky blobs have turned around. What's going on? I think the music from the Lantern Festival is scaring them. That must be it. Because they're not going to the chilly north now. They're heading towards the steamy south. Steamy and warm sounds perfect. Not for the sky blobs. They only like cold weather. Hot weather won't be good for them at all. We have to turn them around. Can you stop them until we get there? I'll do my best. Oh, Cumulo! <laughs> Sorry we're missing the lantern launch, B. But we have to help. Yep, it's what we do. Time to hop aboard. <laughs> Why aren't I hopping aboard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, legs weren't moving for some reason. To the sky blobs, please. <laughs> My sky blub call. <gasps> Easy little blub. It's okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> They're so freaked out right now. We're gonna need some wish help to calm them down and turn them around. To the wishing tree, cute. Oh, right. <laughs> Oopsies. Thanks, Cumulo. Everyone okay? Yes. Did I forget to, um... <clears throat> did I forget to mention that the sky blobs get upset easily? Yes, but we know now. Okay, there you go, little wish buddy. If I can just calm the sky blobs down, I can get them flying to the chilly north again. But how? That will be a challenge. Let's sit and have a think about this. How will you get the sky blobs to fly to the chilly north? First, the poor things are so jumpy and startled by unexpected things. I need to make them feel safe again. Like how you feel when you're with people you care about. <sighs> how warm and lovey. The way you make me feel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Bartleby, exactly. A wish could help us do that. And if they're still spooked, then I'll need another wish that can lead them to the chilly north. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. 
Daddy. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. What fantastic wishes! Let's see what the Wishopedia says about them. Your first wish is... Ah, Tizway. It's a musical wish that plays music so sweet and enchanting that everyone loves it and wants to follow it. That's great! Tizway can help get the Skyblubs to follow us too. For your second wish, you have... Sidebar. How sweet. It's a togetherness wish. It gives you that warm, cozy feeling, like when you're with somebody you care about. <laughs> I don't know what's come over me, True, but I love you more than ever. <laughs> a togetherness wish is perfect. It'll help the Sky Blubs see me as family and let me lead them to the chilly north. And your third wish is Deflect. Very interesting. It's a shield wish that can deflect anything that bumps into it. Psst. Can you deflect a sky blob falling out of the sky? Yeah, I just, I was asking for a friend. A shield wish is cool, but I'm not sure how it will help us lead the sky blobs home. You'll put the wish to good use, like you always do, True. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. Any questions? Just face bubble me. I know a lot about sky blobs. We will. Come on, B. Let's get our flying friends to the chilly north. Oh no! Look how far they've flown already. We're almost at the steamy south. You can feel the steamy heat all the way over here. Ooh. That steamy warmth is awful. Just awful. Yeah. Poor baby Skyblub. She's really scared. Oh, she totally is. Quick, Cumulo. We have to get ahead of them fast so we can turn them around. And I have just the wish to make them feel warm and lovey. Then I can lead them away. All together now, side by. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, side by. Wish come true. <laughs> Hi, side by. We need the sky blubs to feel like I'm part of their family, so they'll feel safe enough to follow me. Can you? Whoa! Phew. <gasps> side by? No, wait, side by. I want them to follow me, not Bartleby. What's happening? I'm tingly all over. <laughs> Even my tingles are tingling. No! Uh, what's with all this sky blobbing? Bartleby, they're attracted to you. To me? You mean like I'm their mama? No, 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 no. You're supposed to be their mama. You are. Uh, side by? Hmm? Can we try this again? Mm -mm. Well, thanks anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, B. Side by only has the wish power to do that once. <laughs> Aww, the baby sky blub really loves you now. Aww, tell her to stop. I can't. Even the baby's mama wants you to be her mama. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not ready to play mama. I don't even wash my own paws before dinner. <laughs> Until Side By's wish power wears off, you are their mama. But don't worry, you can calm them down. I can what? <laughs> Giddy down! Bartleby! <laughs> hey, 
Hey, thanks, little blubster. Soft, squishy, good. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, keep it together, me. Sky Blobs, if we're gonna do this, you gotta. You gotta listen to your mama, okay? And your mama needs some space. Woo -woo. Thanks, guys. It worked! They listened! To me! See? You're a natural. Now let's lead them home. Right, home. Um, Sky Blobs? Woo -woo. Turn around, please. The chilly north is that away? Got to listen to your mother, me. Come on, little bobbies. We're leaving the steamy stuff behind. Nice work, Mama Bee. Thanks, True. That's all in a day's work. <laughs> this trip will be a breeze. Huh? <laughs> what? We're stopping. Yeah! <laughs> oh, True! We're going to Happy Farming Valley, whether we like it or not. <laughs> oh, boy, that was terrifying. At least I didn't get <laughs> squished. Oh, no. Are you okay, B? I'm okay. Clouds are as light as, well, clouds. Bring it in, B. I got you. Huh? True, why are you slobbering on me? No! Oh, hey! So this is why they landed in Happy Farming Valley. It's snack time. Yes, it is, and I like their style. <laughs> oh, B. You like tangy tum tums? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. I think they want to be fed by someone else. Someone named Mama. Oh. But their mouths are huge. What if I fall in? Fall in! Fall in! It's okay. They won't eat you. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Pretty sure? Oh, don't be scared. They love you, remember? And if anything happens, I'm right here to help. Okay, um, here's Sky Blob. Ooh. Get your tangy tom tom from your mom mom with the yum yums. <laughs> oh, well, can't say we didn't try. <laughs> maybe they'll feed themselves now. Maybe. Hmm, maybe. We're having trouble feeding the Sky Blubs. They won't eat the tangy Tum Tums. Ah, try holding the fruit in your mouth. You mean like this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Smart! Yeah! Mm -hmm. Whoa, are you okay, B? So much flubbiness! But it didn't eat you, right? No! She didn't! That's my super brave kitty. Come on, we'll need more tangy tum-tums to fill those big bobby bellies. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. It's feeding time! Baby feeding, Mama Bee. <sighs> Thanks. Hey, fun fact. Sky Blob tongues feel like slobbery sandpaper. <laughs> okay, little blob. Let's get you and your family home. <laughs> Chili North, here we come. Uh-oh. Oh, well, what now? Uh, are you thirsty? Uh -uh. Itchy? Uh -uh. Need a belly rub? Uh -uh. What? What? She's just saying, thank you, Mama. <laughs> Oh, wow, oh, you're welcome. Oh, oh. <laughs> Bartleby, we're getting close to the festival. Uh-oh, Bingo Bango's still playing. The Lantern Festival is still going on. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no! Sky Blobs, cover your ears! Plug them good, darlings! <sighs> it stopped. Oh, good. Whew. And if the music's done, <gasps> that means... Ready? Three, two, one. Lanterns away! Oh, look at that. Everyone's launching their glow lanterns. Woo! 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 Lanterns scary. Lanterns very bad. Oh, 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 oh,
the gloves. Stay away from my babies! Lanterns away from my children! Huh? What happened? I forgot the lanterns did that. When they land or hit something, they pop. <laughs> With the funny sound. That way, they don't leave any mess anywhere. Well, there's just way too many lanterns. Whoa. We've got to get rid of them all before my sky blobs go the wrong way again. But if we pop all the lanterns, we'll ruin the lantern festival. <sighs> what do we do? Let's think about this. Okay, let's think. If we could make a path for the sky blobs to fly through, then we wouldn't have to pop all the lanterns. Just some of them. Yeah, yeah, great idea. We'll use Deflect, my shield wish. He can clear a path by popping lanterns away. Right on, let's do it. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Deflect. Wish come true. <laughs> Get behind me, everyone! Okay, Cumulo, let's pop some glow lanterns! It's okay. Mama's best friend is taking care of those scary bad lanterns. Sky Blobs, it's okay. Just listen to your mama and follow me to the chilly north. The sky is looking clear. It's time to skip the drama. We've got somewhere we ought to be. Better listen to your mama. I'm the head of this family. Here's what we're going to do. We'll fly high up just like the wind and go woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Great job, Deflect. Ah. Nothing to worry about here, Sky Blubs. Whew! Now back in the back. <laughs> we did it! Yeah, we showed those lanterns who's boss. Now nothing's gonna stop my Sky Blubs from getting home to the <laughs> chilly north. <gasps> Are those storm clouds? No! Nah, my babies do not like those. But Mama can tell these things. Let's land until they pass. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Good stop. This is bad. The storm clouds are moving in from above and below. So they're all around us? Not yet they're not. It's clear flying through Pointy Rock Canyon. But it won't be clear for long. We have to go now. I don't know, True. Z said the blubs scare easily, and those pointy rocks look pretty scary. Oh. And that thunder's scary, too. We have to think of some way to calm them down. <gasps> I've got it. I'll have Tizway play some relaxing music. That should keep the sky blubs calm and distracted. Tizway, I need you. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Tizway. Wish come true! Hi, Tizway. We need some music to help us lead our friends through Pointy Rock Canyon. <laughs> yeah, that's a little too mellow. You have to hurry, Bee. Okay, okay. We need music that'll get their fins a-flapping so they'll follow us forward. Faster fin-flapping music coming right up. Sky Blobs, hey, you are the best. Baby Blob and all the rest. Sound off. Club call. Woo wee woo wee woo woo. Woo wee woo wee woo woo. Woo 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 wee woo wee. Almost there, we're nearly through. There's only one thing left to do. Fly through. <laughs> the Chili North! We're here! <laughs> now I know why they call it the Chili North. <laughs> we helped the Sky Blobs get home. Can you come tell me any blob? 
<laughs> oh, yicky! Bit less sandpaper tongue, please. I'm so proud of you, Bee. You were a great mama. <sighs> Thanks, True. Well, Sideby's wish power will wear off soon, though. Then the Sky Blubs won't see me as their mama anymore. Bartleby, Sideby's wish power doesn't last this long. It wore off ages ago. It did? So the Sky Blubs love me? For being me? Yep. Just like I do, Bartleby. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. What is it, baby? What? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a tangy tum-tum fruit that time. <laughs> I think that one was just a kiss. Aw. <laughs> Mama is so happy now. Through switcheroo. Ugh. Phew. Bartleby, could you pass me an empty flower pot, please? Oh. <laughs> You're not Bartleby. Good work, little helpers. I just wonder where my big helper Bartleby went. Mm, fishy poof crackers. Mm. Ah! It's raining! It's raining, it's pouring, and Bartleby <laughs> is snoring. <laughs> Are you forgetting what day it is today? Is it sleep on the grass day? Nope. Brush my fur day? Nope. Eat a big lunch day? No, silly. We're going to help Griselda with her gardening today. Whoa, now. Stop right there. Where you think you're going with True's flowers? It's okay, Bee. I'm giving them to Griselda so she can add them to her garden. Aw, that's so nice. Okay, enough chatter. Let's get these flowers onto the wagon. <laughs> What was that? Ooh. It's some kind of crystal. <sighs> smells pepperminty. What kind of crystal smells pepperminty? Hmm, we might be able to tell if we clean it up a little. <gasps> Something's happening! I don't know what just happened. I think this crystal just made your juice ball switch places with that shovel. Wow! What do you know? An actual working for real switch em a jig. Switch em a ball. Yeah, switch em a thing. Switcheroo. Switcheroo. <laughs> that's good, yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything so amazing? Just think of all the things we can switch. She has my ball! She has my ball! <laughs> I don't know. Ah! You're me. And you're an extremely handsome kitty cat. Switcheroo switched our bodies. I can't be a cat. What about me? How am I supposed to be a human? Or a girl? I don't know how to be either. We <laughs> have to switch back. <laughs> how do you hold anything with these paws? Oh, what are all these fingers for? All they do is wiggle around. When are you going to get here to help me with my garden? The Grismos are ruining everything! Help me, True! She thinks you're me. Say something. Like what? Wait, who said that? Um... Hold on, just let me get... We're on our way! See you soon! Oof. On our way? True, we can't go to Griselda's like this. We have to. We promised we'd help. Grab that crystal and we'll try and figure it out there. Okay, but the second we get there, I want to be a cat again. Oh, I don't know how you people live without fur. I'm freezing! Hmm. Put the bench where the bush is, and the bush where the bench is. Moving past. Hmm. No, no, that's not right either. Put them back where they were. <laughs> okay, let's try switching back before we talk to Griselda. Whoa! Phew. It's hard to get a grip on anything with these paws. Who is that back there? Oh, no. Here she comes. Let her do all the talking. <laughs> yeah, for a change. Uh, Hello. Hi, True, Bartleby, you two sound weird. <laughs> anyway, da-da-da-da. 
everything that's here should be there, and everything that's there should be here. And Trey, what are you doing? Uh, hands still dirty from uh, gardening. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Surprise! Surprise! Aww, that's so sweet of you, True. <gasps> A crystal? <coughs> it smells like peppermint. It'll be the perfect centerpiece for my garden. Yay! True, we need the switcheroo back. Why didn't you tell her it wasn't a gift? I couldn't say anything without showing her that we switched. Grismos, put this on the top of the bird bath right away. It's my new centerpiece, so guard it for all you're worth. Whew, all this gardening is exhausting. Time for a beauty nap. Oh, and I want that crystal to be sparkling so I can see my face in it. So be sure to shine it every couple seconds. Thank you! Polish it! Every few seconds? Grismos! No! Oreo! Switch stuff! Yay! Grismos, I really need that crystal back. No. -uh. But everything's getting switched. No. Uh oh. Huh? Ooh. <laughs> we have to stop all this switching. Never fear. This ninja cat, um, girl, we'll get it back. Uh, Bartleby? Hi! I don't know what to do next with your body. <laughs> I'm the cat. I can leap. Ninja Cat, go! Ooh. A feather duster. Dirty trick. <laughs> no claws, no claws! <laughs> uh, I'm used to landing on my paws. <laughs> Look! The beams are going everywhere, True. Even Rainbow City. Mustard. Wow. Oh. Oh. There's no way we can fix this on our own. We need some wish help. Oh, Cumulo! Hi, Cumulo. Whoa. Please take us to the wishing tree. Over here, please, and bouncy wishes. You can move over here. Hi, see. Greetings, True and Bartleby. I'm just switching some of the wishes spots in the wishing tree. Ah, oh, more switching. Can't things just stay the same anymore? True. There's something wrong with your voice. You sound like Bartleby. <laughs> no, no. My voice sounds the same as always. -y. <laughs> no, Bartleby. My eyes must be seeing things. My ears must be hearing things. Oh, I must be dreaming. Wishes, help me wake up, please. I can't be sleeping on the job. <gasps> Ooh, thanks, Bouncing Wish. It's okay. You're not dreaming. B and I switched bodies. Yeah, True dug up this crystal thing we call the switcheroo. And it zapped us. And now I'm a human, and she's a cat. <sighs> I miss having fur. Great gravity. What a problem this is. Come, let's sit and have a think about this. <sighs> How can the wishes help you, True? Well, first we need to get the switcheroo back from the Grismos. Griselda thinks True gave it to her as a gift. 
but she did not. Oh, uh, that's, that's awkward. Really awkward. But maybe a wish can help us give Griselda something else that she'll like even more. And once you get the crystal, you can switch yourselves back and everything will be normal, right? Uh, not exactly. We saw the switcheroo beams blasting towards Rainbow City. <laughs> what? Ooh, huh, landed on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> it is time to get your three wishes. Wait, True's the one who asked for the wishes, but right now I'm True. The wishing tree always knows the real True. But she will need her wish pack. All right. Huh, perfect fit. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. These are some great wishes, Bartleby. Uh, I mean, true. Let's check the Wishopedia. Your first wish is Snorful. This smelling wish has a very strong nose for sniffing things out. If it's strong enough to move things too, it could help us push all the switched out stuff back again. <laughs> Strong sneezer, too, I bet. Your second wish is Zillion, one of my favorites. It can make exact copies of things, whether you just need one copy or a hundred copies. What could I make a copy of that'll help me? <gasps> the switcheroo! I could give a copy of it to Griselda so I can get the real one back! <laughs> And your third wish is... Ah, yes. Look-see. The seeing wish. It can help you spot things that our eyes can't see. Hmm. I don't know why we'd need a seeing wish. <laughs> but I'm sure I'll find some way to use it. You always do, True. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wonderful wishes with me. You're the best, Z. Good luck, True Bartleby. Uh, you too, Bartleby, True. <laughs> oh, my! Oh, my. You, Flowerous Magnificus. <laughs> Hello, Bee. <laughs> a, a leaping lemon yellow. Now I'm a bee. <laughs> well, I'd better practice my buzzing. <laughs> bzz, 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 bzz. Yay! Uh. Huh? Yuck! Ice cream break. B, we need the switcheroo first. Ice cream later. Oh, right. It's time to get it back and put a stop to all the switching. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Zillion. Wish come true. Ready to go? Mm -hmm. Hi, Grismos. I really need that crystal back. No, uh -uh. I'm not gonna take it. I'm just gonna make a copy. I don't care. Perfect. And we'd like one copy of the switcheroo, please. But don't copy its powers. Uh, a rested princess is a happy princess. Okay, everyone. Let's see how things are looking in my... <gasps> my crystal! <laughs> 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 Oh no! The crystal! 
crystals are going everywhere. The real switcheroo, don't let it get away! <laughs> True, oh. what is going on? <laughs> Why is it raining crystals? Oh, my nose. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no! <gasps> I rubbed it! Uh. Wow, that's weird. Did everyone just get taller? Ah! I'm a dog. Why am I a dog? I'm really sorry, Griselda. Uh, why are you talking like True? You and your Grismos weren't supposed to have my crystal. It's a switcheroo and it switches things. And people. And cats. It switched our bodies. That's so weird. Ah! That's me. I switch bodies with my fruity kids. What's that? It's, it's, it's chasing me! Yeah. Whoa! The switcheroo! Right behind you, True! Got it! Oh, oh. I'm getting paw prints all over it! Uh-oh. Oh, no! How are we gonna find the real switcheroo now? Don't feel bad, Zillion. It's not your fault you got startled. You're a good helper. I can't believe I'm a dog. A really adorable dog, but a dog! Fruki, no! Boys and Grace, be a princess! Come on, B. We gotta find the real switcheroo. I'm with you, Troob! <laughs> This isn't my stop. Okay, things are looking really switched up around here. Where did all these trees come from? Bottleby, look! I found it! Uh, true? Whoa, it's like a giant game of crystal hide and seek. How are we gonna know which one's the real switcheroo with all the copies? Well... First, we'll have to gather up every last crystal there is. Okay, but how can we find all the crystals if we can't even see where they all are? We don't need to see them. We just have to smell them. Oh, yeah. They smell pepperminty. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, snorkel. Wish come true. Hi, Snorful. I need you to find all the crystals wherever they are. They smell like peppermint. Can you sniff them out for us? Good with these finger thingies. I guess that's all of them. <coughs> Thanks, Snorful. Now we gotta figure out which is the real switcheroo. Luckily, I have a system. Grab them. Nope. 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 Can I help? No, I got it. No. Nope. Arm cramp. Arm cramp. This is gonna take forever. There it is again. Nope. None of those crystals was the switcheroo. Maybe it's one of these. There has to be a way to find out which crystal's the real switcheroo without having to polish them all. Let's think about this. Our last wish is look-see. It can see things our regular eyes can't. Right. What's on the switcheroo that we can't see? My paw print! I left paw prints on it when I tried to grab it! That's what Luxie can search for to find the real switcheroo! That's a super incredible idea! <laughs> Let's do this! Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Luxie! Wish come true! I 
look-see. Huh? We're looking for one special crystal that has a kitty paw print on it. Are you ready to look? Well, 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 well. Well. Green. Where is it? Hmm. <gasps> kitty paw print! Ninja Kitty True Go! <laughs> yeah! Nice tail control! You know what they say, B. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Luxie. You've been a huge help. Great job, True. Now, um, switch us back, quick. Okay, Bartleby. Whiskers. No whiskers. Tail. No tail. Kitty sense of self-importance. Uh, no tail. I'm back. <laughs> more stuff to switcheroo. Come on! Can't we celebrate for a second? Okay. One second dance oh! party. Okay. Let's go. Let's switcheroo a thing or two. No sense wasting all that practice. Thanks, Cumulo. Nice switcheroo, True. <gasps> Tail wagging isn't fun anymore. Crystal looks so gorgeous in my garden. I didn't realize it wasn't for me. Great news, Griselda Fruki. You can have all the crystal copies. Just don't ask me to count how many there are. I can't count that high. Yay! Ah! 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 Chase him back, you! Quick, chase him back! Oh, Dr. Fruki! Ah! Ah! Just a cat! Wait, tail gone, fingers back, ability to curtsy. Perfect. <laughs> so, uh, what are you gonna do with that switcheroo, True? Well, I know the perfect spot where it won't cause any more trouble. There. Safe and sound, back in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> the Nine Eye Tree. Looks like we're officially ready for Camp Out Yeti style. Almost officially ready. Nope, too hard. <laughs> too soft. Too leafy. Ah, oh, that's just right. <laughs> Maybe too good a job. Hmm, I think this cat nap needs a Yeti wake up call. Oh, Erg! Hi! Hi! Uh, uh, bye! Bye! Wahoo! Last stop, Yeti Village! Oh, look! The campers are here! to learn all about the Yeti tradition. Yeah! Oh, is that a Yeti tradition? It is. Having fun is a Yeti specialty. So is recycling. Your sleeping bags are made entirely out of fallen leaves. Oh! And when you wake up in the morning, you've got a nice, healthy breakfast. Yeah! Uh -oh. <laughs> Great! Well, that Yeti tradition looks like a lot of fun. I want to try that. Sure. Everybody grab a Yeti buddy and have fun! This is so much fun! <laughs> Thanks for the delivery, Erg! Yeti dinner is served! Ah, oh, everything looks good! Enough to eat. That was delicious. Thank you. Uh, now, uh, what should I do with my plate? Is there garbage? 
<laughs> Yetis don't believe in garbage. They reuse everything. Uh -huh. mm. Including the plates, which are edible. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. oh, you know, this tastes pretty good for a plate. Huh, I was right. Mm. Everything is good enough to eat. Now that we've seen some Yeti traditions, do you think they'd like to learn some of ours? Definitely. What were you thinking? Well, when we camp out, we like to gather around, do some dancing, and roast Nummelberry marshmallows. Oh, yeah, I love that. And the best part is, we do it at night. <laughs> oh, the Yeti's only like daylight. They never go out after dark. Ah! Never. Ah! Ever. Oh, message received. Guess we'll only have to collect half the Nummelberries now. Would you like some help getting ready for nighttime? Oh! Come on, B. Um, mm, got any dessert plates? Mmm, <laughs> now that's hospitality. Mm. <laughs> oh, B. Can I ask you why you don't go out at nighttime? <laughs> You're scared of the dark? Hey, me too. That's why I always carry a security blanket and a security snack. And a security best friend. <laughs> Always. So, what do you do to feel safe when it gets dark? Whoa! Is this a Nine Eye fruit? I've never seen one before. So pretty. Oh, the Yetis have been using the Nine Eyes for thousands of years. It helps them feel safe at night. Nine nine. Oh. It's too bad the Yetis can't join us at our camp out. Yeah, well, I heard they don't like being outside when it's dark. Well, maybe they need some lights. Like those ones up there. Hey, that gives me an idea. Yay! Look how bright we made it. Now the Yetis can join us for camp out. Yay! I'll call them. Oh, Yetis! Yetis! We found some nice lights for you. <laughs> It. I'll be right back. Is everyone okay? We heard howls. Unhappy howls. Don't worry, True. I'll turn off those bright Nine Nine lights. No! <laughs> the Yetis are scared of the dark and they need those Nine Eyes to feel safe. Oh, I feel terrible. It's not your fault. You didn't know, but those Yetis won't be able to go night night without their Nine Eyes. Let's just turn those Nine Eyes back on. There must be a switch or something. We can't turn them back on? We have to get new ones from the Nine Eye tree? What about these little lights? Couldn't they work instead? Those lights are nice, but they're too small. And not nearly bright enough. No, the only thing we can do is get more Nine Eyes. A great plan. Um, we'll wait till morning and leave when it's sunny, right? I don't think the Yetis can last that long in the dark, Bee. Where's the Nine Eye tree? <laughs> deep in the never ending forest. Uh, how deep? Oh, so really deep. Can you show us the way? Don't be scared. Don't worry, we'll be fine. We'll stick together. 
hand, I'll go get some wish help. <laughs> oh, Cumulo! We'll be back before you know it. Till then, stay together. Yeah, there's safety in numbers. Unless you're a fishy poof cracker. <laughs> to the wishing tree, please, Cumulo! True, Bartleby! Is everything all right? I heard howls. No, everything is not all right. Those are Yeti howls. Why are the Yetis howling? Because they're scared of the dark. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That's right. And the citizens accidentally put out their Nine-Eye lights, and now everyone is upset. <gasps> they put out their Nine-Eye lights? But the Yetis have been using those for thousands of years. We know! First things first, let's sit and have a think. <sighs> okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, we need to find the Nine-Eye tree so we can bring back more Nine-Eyes to the Yeti village. But Snick's too scared of the dark to show us the way. So we need a way to light our path through the forest and keep Snick and Bartleby calm. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> wishing tree, share with me. Wishes are incredible. I can't wait to see what the Wishipedia says about their powers. First up, we have Woglow. Hi again, Woglow. I could never forget your bright personality. <laughs> As you know, Woglow is a light wish. It can illuminate any space, no matter how dark it is. Even say, I don't know, the never-ending forest at night dark? Don't worry, Bee. Woglow can brighten any path. Next, we have Bumbershoot. Bumbershoot has fantastic parachute powers. Bumbershoot can float you down to the ground safely from any height. That'll come in handy if we get stuck somewhere really high. Uh -huh, that. <laughs> Bumbershoot. Are we planning on getting stuck somewhere really high? And finally, we have Gravidity. Gravidity is super sticky and stretchy. It can help you grab things from far away. That's amazing! I'm not sure how we'll use your power, Grabadiddy, but if you like adventure, stick with us. Grabadiddy! Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack. Let's go find the Nine Eye Tree. Oh no, we don't have any wishes to help the Yetis. Oh, I have an idea. Be right back. Okay, we'll meet you on Cumulo. Bring snacks! No. Okay. <sighs> Ooh, is that the snack bag? No snacks. Just ingredients for a glow potion to help the Yeti stay calm until you get back. Great idea! Let's go! Hi! Hi, Yetis! This is my friend Z. He's here to help. Hi! Um, hello. True, I didn't realize there'd be such a big crowd. I'm used to potioning in front of small groups. You'll do great, Z. Pro tip, maybe don't go overboard with the science talk. But not all my talk is science talk. Well, good luck with that. Snick, are you ready to show us the way to the Nine-Eye Tree? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be scared. 
I'm here to bring you Radiant Energy! Uh, I mean, I'm here to bring you Illumination! Uh -huh. I'm here to bring you light! <laughs> Observe. <laughs> Stick, if you're saying this is a gloomy, dark, and spooky, shadowy forest, I'm right with you. It is getting pretty dark out here, but I've got just the thing. It's time for my first wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wish come true! Hi, Woglo. Can you light up this gloomy forest for us? This, um, gloomy, dark, spooky shadow, so many scary words forest? <laughs> See? Much better. All right, okay. You know, uh, things are looking up. I can see the ground. I can see the trees. I can see my fishy poof crackers. Oh, can we stop for a quick snack break, True? Sure, B. How about a little rest, Woglo? Woglo! One for Snick, and one for True, and one for the giant scary plant creature. Ah! Oh! Don't be scared. It's just this cute little flower's shadow. See? Okay, it's gone. <sighs> Thank goodness. Everybody relax! Don't do that shadow thing again, okay, True? Not all shadows are scary, Bee. Some are fun. Here, you shine Woglo on my hands. Hey, it's me! I'm famous! <gasps> Rainbow King! <laughs> Delightful daffodil! I'm so pleased you like my shadow puppet show! <laughs> You're so good at making us not scared, Drew. I couldn't do it without my lovely assistant, Woglo. Oh, sorry. I know it's in here somewhere. Aha! Ah. Nope, not that. Uh, yes, pollen from Rainbow King's favorite flower. And celestial particles. I mean star sprinkles. A good scientist always knows when to check on his experiment. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> nice try, Forrest! You! That might sound like a huge waterfall, but uh, I'm sure it's just a... <laughs> I do not remember a waterfall being here. We've never been here before, Bee. No, oh, yeah, that's why I don't remember it. Snick, is the Nine-Eye tree down there? Oh, yeah! She said all we have to do is follow the river. Uh, how are we supposed to get down there? Easy, we're going to jump. I was afraid you'd say that. Bartleby, we're going to have to be brave. The Yetis are depending on us to bring the Nine-Eye light back to the village. Time for my second wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Bumbershoe! Wish come true! Hi, Bumbershoe! Can you help us float down safely from here? Ah, Bumbershoe! Well, Glow, you sit on my shoulder, okay? Bumbershoe, we need you to get as big as you can. Uh-huh. Okay, everyone. One, two, three, jump! Hey, 
Hey, Snick, my paws are getting kind of tired. Is that nine nine tree close by? Ooh! <laughs> Lola! Lola! Well, I guess that's the nine eye tree. Oh! Thanks for your help, Woglo. Woglo! Now back in the pack. Uh, true. Why is the nine eye tree so dark? I don't know. Let's go take a closer look. <laughs> Snick says the nine eye tree is all lit up during the day. Then why do you think it looks so different at night? Oh. oh. It's sleeping. sleeping. Of course it's all dark. Even nine eye trees go to bed. So how do we wake it up? Nine eye. <gasps> the nine Look at all those nine eyes. But true, they're so high up. How are we going to get them down? It's time for my third wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Grabadiddy. Wish come true. Grabadiddy. Hi, Grabadiddy. I need your super sticky power to help us catch all those nine eyes. Uh huh. Ooh, uh -huh. Let's get grabbing, grab a ditty! Grab a ditty! Ah ah! Ah ah! Ah ah! Way to grab, grab a ditty! Thanks for your help, grab a ditty! Grab a ditty! Now back in the pack! Sorry to wake you, Nine Eye Tree, but my friends and I were visiting the Yetis and we. Uh... Somebody threw water on the Nine Eye lights and they just went out. Wasn't me, just saying. A anyway, the Yetis are a little afraid of the dark. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Mm. Is it okay if we borrow some of your Nine Eyes? Mm hmm. Oh, thank you, Nine Eye Tree. Thanks. Mm -hmm. We better get back to Yeti Village. Sweet dreams, Nine Eye Tree. I'm sorry. All my potions are destroyed. There's nothing else I can do to bring you light. Hey, there's some light. Those look like Nine Eye lights. Hey, it's Drew, Bartleby, and Snake. Hi, we're back. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Now we have enough Nine Eyes to light the entire Yeti village. And I wasn't afraid of the dark or my shadow. <laughs> well, maybe a little. I just want to say how truly sorry we really are. It's just that we got so caught up in the Yeti traditions, we didn't realize we were causing any harm. Well, isn't there anything we can do to help the Yetis now? <laughs> Kitty hiding skills. True will never find me. <laughs> what? Huh? Little helpers, knock it off. You're giving away my hiding spot. Why? Wow. <laughs> I guess my ninja landing skills are better than my ninja hiding skills. <laughs> What was that? Sounds 
sounds like someone's got a really bad cold. What's <laughs> Huh? What's <laughs> Whoa! Our house was not orange and blue before. I wonder what's going on. Let's see if anyone else's house is changing color. Whoa! Each time we hear that sneeze, something changes color. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> B, you'd better take a look at yourself. You're looking a little... Green? Huh. What do you think, Drew? Does it bring out the color in my eyes? <laughs> <laughs> True, your hair! It's pink! And almost as fabulous as mine! <laughs> Thanks, B. <laughs> it looks like the sneezes are coming from the Rainbow Castle! Oh, oh no! no. True, Bartleby. Oh, my greenness, I'm so happy you're here. Your greenness? Check out my greenness. I see what you mean. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It seems I've caught a nasty case of the Wachugi boogies. What, Chugi boogies? Yes. Uh, they make me very sneezy. And as you may have noticed, tend to confound my colors. I'll say, everything changes color when you sneeze. But it'll be okay, right? Purple pumpkins, no. From what I've read, if I don't remedy my wachugi boogie soon, the color changes will spread and stay that way forever. Forever? forever? There has to be some way to stop it, Your Highness. According to legend, the only cure is to be tickled by the feather of a Hinotari bird. It's a magical bird that lives high atop Mount Tippy Tippy Top. But it's so steep and cold and snowy, no one's ever made it all the way up. Well, we will, because we're gonna get you that feather. True, you mustn't. It's far too dangerous. You're our friend, Rainbow King. When a friend is in need, we do whatever we can to help. Isn't she the greatest? I mean, isn't she? Come on, Bartleby! Wait, before you leave, what's your Bartleby? Yes! We're, we're us, us again! again. Five, 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 five. Yeah! yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. please, dress warmly. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cumulo! <laughs> Bring us to Mount Tippy Tippy Top, please! <laughs> <laughs> and fast! <laughs> straight to the mountain top and get the feather. <laughs> oh no, Cumulo's got a bad case of icicle rump. The air's too cold up here for clouds. Cumulo's freezing. <laughs> Hold on, Marty! <laughs> Easy, Cumulo. We're gonna be okay. There, the sunlight will warm you right back up again. You know, this mountain isn't as high as I thought. It's way higher. It's too steep and cold and snowy to climb on our own. Now we need some wish help. To the wishing tree, Cumulo. <laughs> Thanks, Cumulo. Crazy. Hello, True. I need some ingredients, please, wishes. That soup smells, um, <coughs> different. It's for the king. It won't heal him, but it should help him rest until we find a cure for his Wachugala, Wachuniwu, Wachuluhua, his cold. Sip? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd like it. So how can the wishing tree help you? We have to climb Mount Tippy Tippy Top. What? That mountain is gigantic. I don't think that's a good idea. It's the only way to get a Hinotari feather to tickle the king and get rid of his Wachugi boogies. Along with my soup. <laughs> Your climb will be a challenge. Let's have a think about this. <gasps> mm. 
So how will you get up there? Well, it's really steep and snowy. And cold. It's fur freezing cold. We'll need a wish to help us with the climb and a wish to help us with the cold. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. An amazing group of wishes. <laughs> Let's see what the Wishopedia says about them. Your first wish is Floto. It's a floating wish. It can float anything or anyone inside its bubble. That'll be great for getting us over those tricky spots. <laughs> now for wish number two. Ah, uh, yes, Warmo. It can heat up anything, like the delicious soup I made for the king. Yes, Warmo can melt the snow and the ice that's blocking our way so we can get to the top of the mountain. Yeah, best used for melting snow. Not so much for heating soup. And lastly, you have Blabby. Ooh, this wish is exciting. It's a communication wish. Blah, blah, blah. It can help you understand what someone is saying, no matter what language they speak. Hey, how you doing, True and B? <laughs> Amazing. I'm just not sure how a talking wish can help us get the feather for the king. Maybe I'm just a blabby mouth, but I say you'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing these wishes with me. Good luck, you two. Back to Mount Tippy Tippy Top, please, Cumula. Perfect spot, Cumula. Thanks. And look, there's a path. No need for wishes yet. We're off to a great start. Let's find that feather. They're nice and cozy, Your Highness. How about some homemade soup? Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, well, that's different. Oh, Z, what's that behind you? Huh? I didn't see anything. Oh, sipped all your soup? I hope it helps. Oh, uh, yes. Mm. <laughs> I can feel it working already. <laughs> hey, I'm the same color as my soup. <laughs> Thanks, True. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Slime-a-thon! Oh, that is a really icy hill ahead. Don't worry, Bee. We have a wish that can help. We'll float over it. Come on, Floto. Time to bubble up. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Floto! Wish come true! Hi, Floto. We need you to bubble us up and float us over that icy hill to the other side. Ready to float? Uh, true, do things get smaller when they get cold? I, I guess they do. But on the bright side, more kitty cuddle time, right? True. 
Did you grow a mustache? No, it's your tail, and it's tickling my nose. My whiskers are caught under your boot. Here, Floto, pop us out. <sighs> Thanks, Floto. You know what else is cold on Mount Tippy Tippy Top? Me. <sighs> Me too. Let's fix that. Warming hug. Mm. This book of sneeze cures should help ease your discomfort, Sire. First, apply warming cream to help clear the sinuses. <coughs> Not sure, this is. Next, cover the patient's head in a warm woolly hat. I, 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 I don't see. Then, oh, playing soft music helps patients relax. It's working! What you... 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 What's going on out there? What you... 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 Flying photons! The whole city's gone crazy with color! What you... What you... <sighs> Are you okay, B? A little sore, but at least it didn't start an avalanche. Can we just pretend I didn't say that? There's no time to waste. We'll have to melt our way through. Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Warmo! Wish come true! Let's warm things up, Warmo. So warm. So toasty. Just a bit more. There. Thanks, Warmo. Uh, True, it's gotten really slippery again. I guess melting the avalanche that fast made the path icy. No, we went three steps forward and a hundred steps back. Then we'd better start climbing. Just watch out for the slippery parts this time. Oh, I will. I will. Oh, I'm a kitty cat sickle. Oh, gotcha. Oops. <gasps> Upside down sickle. <laughs> Sorry, B. True, the Rainbow King is getting worse. The entire kingdom is changing colors. Watch out, Bertleby. Please hurry. Come on, Bertleby. We have to get to the top. I'll say. Stripes and polka dots? Yeah. Um, who's that? I don't know, and I don't want to find out. <gasps> it's a snow elfling. Wait, come back! Your hug was keeping me warm. <sighs> <sighs> Thanks, Warmo. Can I keep you forever and ever? Can I? Hi, I'm True, and this is my best friend Bartleby. Could you please take us to the top of Mount Tippy Tippy Top? What's he trying to tell us? To go home? We are so not going home. Snow Elfling, the Rainbow King has the Wachugi Boogies. To help him get well, we have to find a special feather from a Hinotari bird who lives at the top of the mountain. <laughs> Why won't he let us pass? I don't get it. I don't know, B. We can't understand what he's saying. True, I got this. <coughs> Speaking louder <laughs> won't help. No, but we have a wish that can. Zip zap zoo, I cheat you. Wake up, Blobby. Wish come true! Hi, Blabby. 
Can you translate what the snow elfling is saying so we can understand him? Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Uh, okay. Daddy, mm -hmm. Really? <clears throat> Don't take the path. It's the long way up to the mountain top. <gasps> it's, it's working. working. Oh, I did not know that. Back this way is a secret passage through the mountain. It's warm and it's safe and what was that? It has a great shortcut to the top. <laughs> Easy peasy mountain squeezy. I added the last part. Oh, nice. Thank you so much, Snow Elfling. Lead the way, please. <laughs> Tastes like Z soup, but way better. Bartle, 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 look. It's beautiful. Wow. Oh, that's so nice. Oh. Hinotari bird, we need your help to cure the Rainbow King. Your magical feather is the only way we can, and we only need one. Please. I would like to help you, but I'm afraid that I cannot. Huh? <gasps> Why? I only shed my feathers when it's summertime. Summer? It's not even close to summer up here. <laughs> Let's think about this, Bee. Warmo's still active, right? Oh, yeah. My fur has never been toastier. Then we can use this warm glow to help us. If the Hinotari bird only sheds its feathers when it feels warmer, maybe we can melt the ice so it feels like summer. Then she'll give us a feather. That's it. Oh, yeah. Feather weather. True, that's an awesome idea. There <laughs> go. <laughs> was our last chance to cure the Rainbow King. <sighs> Thank you for warming me up again. I hope the king feels much better. We, we did it! Oh, thank you, Warmo and Blobby. <laughs> this feather's going to a tickle party. Bartleby, the king is getting worse. His sneezes are draining all the color from Rainbow City. <laughs> ah, hurry. As quick as we can, Z. We don't get back to the king fast. We need Cumulo. Oh, wait. Oh, he can't fly this high. I know what we have to do. We need to slide down. <laughs> An ice sled for sliding? Perfect. Thank you, Snow Elfling. Ready to rocket down the steepest mountain ever? Sounds terrifying. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> City with no color? Me with no color? 
The only thing left with color is you, Rainbow King. Uh, uh, what are you You're fading too. One more sneeze and you'll be gray. Uh, 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 it's working! The colors are coming back! Sparkling sapphires! I feel so much better! I'm cured! Thank you! True! No climber has ever made it up Mount Tippy Tippy Top, the steepest, snowiest, coldest peak in the kingdom. Well done. When a friend's in need, we do everything we can to help them, sire. Like climb the highest mountain ever. If you want to rename it True and Bartleby Mountain, we wouldn't mind a action. Soup Bartleby? <laughs> uh, huh. I thought only the Wachugi Boogies made things change color. <laughs> Okay, I take that back. <laughs> <laughs>